ceremonial lighting of the balloon. By the way, currently they are heating up the air, so they had to do right, that's right. They had to do this to uh, inflate the balloon. So the balloon actually is composed of three major components. Partner, I've done my research earlier. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Alright, so of course it's composed of uh, three major This is the envelope, of course, what we're seeing right now. That's like a balloon. That's the envelope. And then yes. there is the basket where the pilot and the passengers, right? And of course, the burner. So of course, obviously the burners heat the air inside the balloon. Oh, that, that's really a nice uh, knowledge for me because as a person just loves to go to events, I'm really not familiar knowing those parts of the hot air balloon. Yeah, that's right, partner. So, in the previous years, what we have witnessed, especially during the first international or first balloon fiesta, we have witnessed cementing balloons. Yes, that's right. Well, that's guys. But unfortunately, today, due, due to some uh, restrictions, of course, we cannot fly the balloons anymore because, of course, we need, because we are nearby the airport. But of course, we're still lucky, of course, because these balloons are here to stay for this type of events, wherein. They are tethered. Yes, that's right, Mark. And Mark, since you already shared a little glimpse of the history of the Hot Air Balloon Fiesta, was with 17 balloons. And what else can we know about the history of this event? Well, aside from it, so from 1994, earlier, we had the first-hand information coming from uh, no other than former DOP Secretary Mina Gabor, and she shared her very own story on uh, how they came up with this event, where in where she was actually traveling from London, right? London, and then she saw she saw uh, she opened the magazine and saw a hot air balloon. Wherein it was mentioned that it is good to fly hot air balloons for places for previous who, who had previous eruptions of mountains. So, of course, the stars aligned that day that gave him the sign to hold the hot air balloons or to have the hot air balloons here in part because. Prior 1994, three years before, we had the devastating, uh, the, uh, the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. And of course, three years after that, we had the first Philippine Polvoon Fiesta. Right, now I'm hearing the crowd wooing and uh, shouting with uh, excitement as the balloon is trying to be in place. You know, we have this might be the remember maybe 10 times seeing a uh, hot air balloon it still amazes me to see this gigantic balloons so I feel like a child right now yes we feel like my child and every just joining the family family seeing them up close really is the pleasure memory yes speaking of childhood memories in 1994 we're the first the time we're going to once but I was just two years yeah. old I was okay, just two years old. old hi Yes, but I was uh, previous, uh, I was able to witness the hot air balloons in uh, 2000. Yeah. Not around 2000, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they can visit the Clark Museum from uh, mm. Tuesday to Sunday. It's really a nice play. Oh, the color, of course, of the hot air balloon that is deep color red. Who wants to ride the balloon? Oh. Tina! What about we play some games? I do have some yeah. tickets with me right now. Let me ride this one.